and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing jalapeno peppers, slicing them up for my freezer. I got them actually from um, an Amish lady. She has a stand that she has different things on over the summertime. So that's why I pick up some of my produce. Well, honey. Yes, mommy will sweep it. Um, so I got, um, I think a pint or two of jalapeno peppers. I actually have some in the freezer already. Um, what I like to do is cube them in tiny little squares and then lay them flat out on like a um, cookie sheet, freeze them, and then later go back and package them. So that way that they're loose and yeah, they're easy to pull out of the freezer for when I want to make spaghetti or tacos or something like that. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, and in the meantime, <laughs> I thought I'd talk about my pregnancy, how it's going and all that. Um, so yeah, I actually have like a chopper that I could use for these, but... I was in the process of cleaning and I just got really tired so I thought I better sit down and um, I like to do these when I'm sitting down and can relax. Um, gives me something to do while I sit. But yeah, pregnancy is going great. It's going better than it had been actually for the first little while, first couple months. Okay, the mommy has um spicy peppers. Okay, you might want to stay back. The first couple months I was very, very sick. Very sick. I could hardly leave my bed. Um, I didn't post on YouTube. I barely could even look at my phone. I barely could look at my phone. Um, um I know I have a lot of missed calls that I had and text messages. I felt so bad. But Mommy. Every time I would look at my phone, I would just throw up, get dizzy. Um, and to take care of the children, oh, it was really hard to take care of them. Sometimes Eli would just stay home from work because I was so sick. But we managed. We managed. Um. Thankfully, like, when he would get home from work, usually he works only in the afternoons. That's usually when his job is. It's only in the afternoon. So he leaves around lunchtime. And yeah. But um, he's not that far away anyway. So thankfully, nothing serious ever happened. But yeah, um... When he cut, would get home in the evening, I would just go to bed. It didn't matter if it was like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Um, I would go to bed. <laughs> and he would take care of the children for the rest of the day. He would um, get them ready for bed, give them their baths or whatever they needed to do. He would bring pizzas home or fish fillets and they would have fish sandwiches. And, yeah, um, I, when he cooked, I usually just stayed in the um, bedroom with the door shut. <laughs> because I couldn't stand the smell. I couldn't even stand the smell of my children. Couldn't stand the smell of Eli. Oh, no. Um, thankfully, most of that has passed. Sometimes I have days that I oh, feel a little nauseous. But um, my doctors, they got me on, like, um, Different medicines, two different medicines. We tried Zofran, like the dissolvable kinds on your um, tongue. And it, it worked for a couple of days, but then it didn't. So I talked to um, one of the doctors, and they were like, well, they're going to try this other medicine. I forget the name of it. But it was a little white pill. I had to swallow it. And um, I take that once a day. And she said that um, most people find that when they take the Zofran and this other pill um, together, they actually feel that they actually work pretty good together. And that's what I've been doing. Even now, I'm still on both of the pills. When I run out and um, 
for some reason I don't pick up my pills right away. <laughs> I get sick for the next couple days. Children get out of the basket. Mommy needs to sit down again. I have to do spicy peppers. Thank you. It's just now a matter of taking my pills, and getting to bed before it gets too late. Um, a lot of times, even now, Eli J, he'll put the children to bed himself. Um, I don't even hear him come to bed most nights. Most nights, he I'm in bed long before he is. Um, he says, usually it's the opposite way. Usually, I'm the one up um, doing stuff. <laughs> doing stuff and um when I go to sleep he's he's long been sleeping so he said <laughs> he says this is strange like he he just doesn't see me sleep very much and it's strange for him to come to bed and see me sleeping already and all all that but yeah I mean like <sighs> for some reason when I get pregnant I am so tired even now I'm tired and it's only in the middle of the day but um yeah, it, it, it's just something I have to deal with till baby comes, I guess. And I actually, the other night, the other morning, I got awake and I rolled onto my back and I was just staring into space, thinking. And um, I felt my baby stand up. I think it must have stood up in my belly because, yeah, I felt it roll and then. And, and um, so I was like, I put my hand on my stomach, and I, that was the first time I felt my baby move with my hands on the outside of my stomach. I could feel flutters before, like when I was sitting or laying or stuff like that. But that's the first time, and that was like two nights ago. So yeah, I know I'm like 19 weeks pregnant, so um, I think tomorrow I'll be 19 weeks. So yeah. And I am high, I am high risk pregnancy. Um, I've had preeclampsia twice. So doctors told me to expect to get preeclampsia again. And um, they like that. They're like, um, with all the problems I'm already having, it just seems to me like they don't even give me much hope for anything other than to get preeclampsia again. And um, it seems to me like as soon as I get preeclampsia, they're gonna just take the baby. Which I'm hoping I can hopefully nothing happens till I'm 36 weeks because that's when it started with Katie. That's when I that's when I started feeling bad with Katie. But I know it can happen like weeks before. But I'm just afraid like if they find urine in my I mean I'm just afraid like if they find protein in my urine or blood pressure goes a little high. It was a little high a couple times, but they say baby's too small. You can't do anything. Other than like um, giving a blood pressure medicine, so hopefully I can wait till I'm 36 weeks. I don't want to hope not spend any time in the hospital or the baby in the NICU because <laughs> Kaylee, Kaylee was very very early. She was a whole month early, and um, she just didn't know how to suck when she came out. So she didn't nurse very well, and the first night. Um, she was low in her blood sugar, I think. I think it was her blood sugar. It was really low. And they told me that, um, she's not getting enough from nursing, which, since I had a C-section, um, I, like, when I have my C-sections, they, my milk doesn't come in right away. It, it can take a couple days for it to come in. So, um, so, when I was nursing her, like, I, I guess I just didn't realize she wasn't getting enough milk or whatever and um, they told me like she wasn't doing a bottle either back then so they told me if I can't get her to drink more by morning they're going to put her in the NICU I did not want my baby going to the NICU that night so I stayed up 
all night that night. I stayed up and um, I fed her with a medicine dropper. I cuddled her, I held her, I, I did everything I could think. Like I thought like if she'd be against me all night, skin to skin, and if I talked to her, fed her, just kept like, just kept her against me, like hopefully she'll become, I don't know, hopefully something will happen. And um, in the morning they took her um, blood sugar again, whatever it was, and um, yeah, she was fine. She didn't have to go to the NICU. But I was like, if I can help her, I'm not going to have another 36 week baby. But, you know, you can't help all that. Most times you can't help that. Um, babies come whenever they're ready. So, and my baby needs to get out. I had three clamps for Randall, too. His was actually worse. But I didn't have a very good midwife. But we're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> I like my doctors now that I have. And, um, yeah, it's just a matter of, um, I stay home most days. Most days I don't go anywhere. And when I do, it usually takes me two or three days to get back to feeling like myself again. So, yeah, um, I, Pregnancy is gone better. Um, I can actually do, do my housework again. If I can't do it one day, I'm like, okay, today I'll just rest. And tomorrow I can get it done. Because I'm at that stage now, like, if I don't feel good one day, it's probably because I did something the day before that I wasn't supposed to. Yeah. I don't know. Didn't take my pills. But usually I'm very particular with my pills. Sometimes I don't, I run out and then um, I forget to message my um, doctors and ask for a refill because I have to message them and they have to like approve it or whatever. And it can take up to 24 to 48 hours to do that. Sometimes if I don't remember far enough ahead, then that's when I run out and that's when things get really, really bad. They can get really bad. So I'm trying, I try to keep up with that. And it's easier now that I'm feeling better too. So, um, making vid videos. <laughs> These peppers are getting down my throat. Making videos is starting to seem more appealing to me. I even thought about quitting my YouTube channel. But you like Jay, he was like, no. What, what's the matter? Kaylee, be careful. That's supposed to go outside. Kaylee, okay, careful. But my husband, he was like, no, don't don't bring up your YouTube channel. Like, um, he thinks it makes me happier when I'm doing videos. And I, I can see what he means. Like, I love, most times I love to make videos. I love being in my kitchen. I love being with my children. And, um, I just love doing whatever I'm doing in my house or wherever we get I love it but I guess like ever when someone's pregnant things can change they feel different but yeah I'm really excited about this baby <laughs> we weren't expecting it like we weren't really planning on having another one right now but it's okay um we're just gonna have to, I guess we're gonna have to like try to figure out, like after this baby, we need to take a break because three children, as little as we have, is, is a lot. And um, we have to be parents too. We have to take time. Hey, honey. <laughs> Hi, Bubba. We have to take time to parents and um, make sure that we're giving them their attention they need. Um, plus, we wanna, we wanna travel. We wanna travel so ba badly with our children just have all those memories <laughs> we're even thinking about getting rid of our house and getting an rv and traveling for a summer or two um <laughs> we have big plans but um yeah i guess we'll just wait till this baby comes and see what we feel like doing <laughs> but bubba what do you want <laughs> hi i love you bubba 
and our children, they're, they're all babies right now. Like, Randall, he's three. He's still being potty trained. Kaylee, she's not potty trained. She barely knows how to eat, like, by herself with a spoon. She's still learning that. Um, and I have, <coughs> this will be my, <coughs> this will be my third C-section in, like, three years. And the doctors told me that I can't even there's no way they're going to allow me to have it naturally because I already had two C-sections. And Eli's like, you help take care of your body. You can't just keep having babies. Like, he, he's already scared for this pregnancy and this C-section. He's really worried about it. I'm not quite so worried about it. But, um, yeah, I'm just glad that he sees that um, we can't keep having children. I mean, children are wonderful. We love them, but... You also have to be able to care for them and give them the attention they need and all that. So, like, when I'm pregnant, <laughs> my children, they don't get very good meals. They, they do a lot. They learn to do a lot for themselves. Like, and I don't like it. I don't like making them be. Oh, thank you, Baba. I don't like making my children do more than they have to. Like, yeah, but sometimes I just couldn't get out of bed without puking or, yeah, having a dizzy spell or whatever it was. Um, so, yeah, we need to slow down, take care of the ones we have, make memories with these. And, yeah, that's pretty much my pregnancy story. <laughs> Um, I'm 19 weeks. I'm so excited. Like, I like to say, okay, this week I'm 19 weeks. Next week I'll be 20 weeks. So I'm probably like halfway done my pregnancy already because, um, they said, okay, my baby's due date January 19. And, um, I'm having, I'm having, um, C-section when I'm 39 weeks. But doctors are like, just count on having it before because that's what happened with my last two. Kaylee was a week or Kaylee was a whole month early because pre preeclampsia just came and um, they had to take her. And um, Randall, he was like a week and a half early. So yeah, um, I might have my a Christmas baby. I don't know. <laughs> Or maybe after my baby before Christmas, like if it's with Katie, I don't know. So I have no idea when I'm gonna have my baby. Just whenever I, <laughs> I would just like I'm already like gaining a lot of weight and um, it's fluid. Uh, and that's what happened with both of my other pregnancies. And um, it's it's due to like water retention. Mommy, oh, honey. it's rock. It's rock? Yeah. Oh, are you having fun? Yeah, I'm frog. Okay. I'm frog. Okay. I'm frog. Truck? Yeah, truck fell. Truck fell? Yeah. Oh, my. Can you pick it up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's water retention, and um, it's just one of the first signs I get, like, for preeclampsia. I don't know why I always get preeclampsia. Um, I have trouble already with my blood pressure going up. And that's what Eli's afraid of. Like <laughs> he doesn't like it. Um, but um, yeah, just hopefully make it through this pregnancy. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. And then after this pregnancy, then I don't know what we'll do to prevent having more children. I don't know yet. Doctor said that we'll have this baby first, and then we'll talk about it. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't, I don't really know what all you can do about it. But yeah, um, right now I'm just gonna focus on growing my baby and raising my babies. I do have try to get through this pregnancy alive. Um, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Um, Um, I should be finding out this week what I'm having. So I'm really excited about that. Finding out if it's going to be a boy or girl. And then the children can help me get the clothes ready. If it's a boy, then I have a lot of boy clothes. 
I have a lot of little boy clothes. But if it's a girl, I'm going to have to get more girl things. So, we're, we'll have to see. So, yeah, that's my pregnancy story. I hope you liked, enjoyed the blabbering. And if you didn't, well, thanks for staying anyway and listening. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just do some cleaning and maybe a little cooking the rest of the day. I'm not sure. But, yeah, um, I'm going to try to keep you filled in a little better with updates. Because I do want you to come along. I can't wait to show you my new baby. And, um, yeah, just show you how what life is like pregnant, I guess, with two children.